over here from Vancouver, we have got our Carmen Papalia. Is that the right way to say your surname there? Yeah, yeah. Papalia, Lovely. Papalia. Papalia, yeah. Papalia. Uh-huh. You say tomato. <laughs> um, now, I want to, um, we want to start with you today. So before we get talking about your project at the V&A in London, um, I'm quite interested in your, in your cane. Now, you had a white cane, is that right? Can I look at what you've done to it? Yes, I I still call this my white cane, by the way, although it's... It's not very white, no. is it? No. Um, I essentially, it's a graphite cane. Now, can um, I just say, you are blind. You're not just carrying a cane around with you for no reason. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't identify as blind necessarily. I, I've been, I've changed identifiers throughout my life, so I've... Okay, so what, what, what would you call yourself? I just, I don't really... It really depends on the situation. I mean, sometimes I will say, you know, depending on who I'm around and who's present, like that I'm a a blind person, a visually impaired person. But I really have been lately I've been connecting my my own embodiment to my learn my learning style. So I've been thinking of myself as uh, learning through my non visual senses. That's not a quick to say word. Uh, so do you, do you do you really dislike that white cane then? Because we've just had a look at it and that noise you might have heard just then was Rob playing around with it. Um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> no, so what did you do to your white cane? Uh, I, d- I essentially just peeled off all of the white and red tape and it was a graphite cane. So now it's a beautiful like black kind of Classic, slick colour. <laughs> it's almost it? like a matte kind of finish yeah, to it. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a suave stick. Uh-huh. It's Absolutely. the suavest and stick I, I've seen. I, res- I replaced the, the handle with a wooden handle as well. So it's kind of like a... I just pieced together the kind of implement that I wanted to use instead of just using this institutional But what, isn't that like a little bit dangerous? Because obviously people out there know, you know, when you see somebody with a white cane coming, you know that that's a sign that somebody has a visual impairment. So Uh when they come, you know, when you're wielding your black stick, Uh do people get the same Uh, message that you have an impairment? But I'm not, I don't necessarily want to deliver that message all the time. I I think that the symbol... It's confusing for folks as well. I think that the action of uh, swiping the cane from, you know, one side to the next and is more indicative of that, of of that, uh, the person's embodiment than the, mm. the, the symbol. It's, it's a clear indication of what they're doing. The, the Does it affect your ego? Do you feel that people are just looking at the <laughs> stick back and forth and not looking at you? Is, is that what it boils down uh, to? It, it, it has something to do with, like, it's... It's attracting a lot of folks that want to offer support, but they don't necessarily know how to. So it's more of a bother than anything mm-hmm. else to have people always walking up to me and asking me if I need help. So I'd just rather just ask someone for help if I need it. 